Teddy Riley was the first one to, to get one of your demos? Yeah, Teddy Riley was just way before high school. Okay, so, yeah, so Teddy tell me Riley, about the Teddy Riley. Teddy Riley, I met Teddy Riley when I was 13 years old. Mm. I think I just, I think I just, I was just about to turn 14 right. and um, Teddy Riley was in, he heard my music at an impact convention in Atlantic City and he heard it through someone and he, he didn't like the group that performed, but he liked the music. So he said, tell whoever did the music that they're dope. And when I heard that, that was my men- that was the person that I wanted to mentor me anyway. I was like, I told my dad, dad, Teddy Riley heard my music. We got to get to Teddy Riley. And, I, and my dad was like, where is he at? I said, I think he lives in Virginia Beach. I see the Virginia Beach on all the back of the album covers. We got to go down there. And that's what sucks about us not having credits the way we did back then. Because think about it. I I got to Teddy Riley by looking at the credits. Mm-hmm. His credits said Virginia Beach. So that made me tell my that prompt my dad, yo, let's go to Virginia Beach. And my dad thought I was crazy. But my dad also understood the talent. So he was like, all right, we hopped in the church van and we drove to Virginia Beach. It was like six hours. Yeah. And we wait out, waited outside of Teddy Riley's studio for hours for him to show up. My dad was like, see, I told you he wasn't going to be here. And I was like, no, nah, let's just wait. And we waited, we waited, we waited. And then Teddy popped up. And Teddy took me in the studio and I played my music for him. And he offered me uh, pretty much, uh, uh, not a job, but internship pretty much to come there every summer during school break and kind of just sit under and learn. Right. And for those that don't know, Teddy is one of the all time greats. I mean, he was one of the guys that really invented the hip hop sound. He goes back to like Dougie Fresh. Yeah, he did He did Dougie Fresh when he was 14. He did the show when he was 14 yeah, years old. that's what I'm saying. He invented New Jack Swing. Yeah. Pharrell and the Neptunes were under him. Under him. Everybody had a little, everybody came from that Virginia system. Yeah. 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 I mean, Blackstreet, uh, yeah. Guy. Keith Sweat, Johnny Keith Sweat. Kemp. I mean, he had his hands, Heavy D and the boys. Oh, yeah. All of that, Michael Jackson. I mean, just everything that he did was just like, and I, and being down there watching him create definitely inspired me, and 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 it showed me that I could do this. Well, he offered you a contract, but you didn't take it. Yeah, that was when I was probably about seventeen years old. Okay, three years later. Yeah, yeah, I was going down there each summer, going in there, hanging out, and then finally a deal came from Teddy Riley, and um, I don't know, my dad, my dad valued me on a different level. It wasn't that I didn't want to sign with Teddy Riley. It was that my dad probably was like, I think he said something like, um, yeah, you got you gotta give my dad, you gotta give my son a hundred thousand dollars a month for him to sign. Now mind you, we're not even making we not even making a thousand dollars a month. We're not even making we're not even making a thousand dollars a month. One point two million and we're not signing. Period. A year. Like well, my dad was my dad was 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 crazy like that. Right. right? And y'all y'all weren't wealthy at the time or nothing. Nothing. But my dad, I think he just I think he saw he saw value. Like he saw like, you know, at some point my son is gonna make it. And, and, and I want, you, you know, he's, he's Kobe Bryant coming out of high school. He's LeBron James coming out of high school in his mind. You know what I mean? So, um, I let him deal with the business side. I didn't get too much involved in it. All I know is we didn't sign with Teddy Riley and kept it moving. And I guess you wanted to build an empire in your mind at that time. Yeah, I definitely was. I definitely felt like I could build my own, in my own empire for sure. Shout out to your dad, man. Yeah. Not too many parents are so far sighted. I mean, yeah, were you yeah. mad at your dad? Like, yo, nah, no, nah, nah, you, nah. you guys are rocking together. Nah, and the cool thing about it was like Teddy, Teddy didn't trip either though. Like, I worked, I produced Black Street two, three years later. Like Teddy let me produce Black Street, so it was like you know it wasn't like it was all it was all love. So. He wasn't tripping. Yeah, like because Teddy I, was wealthy. Yeah, and I know, <laughs> and to be honest, like I don't I don't think I would have if 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 I would have signed with Teddy, I definitely probably wouldn't have built my own thing as fast as I did because I, I I moved quickly. Like right after that, you know, I was still a teenager working with some of the biggest artists. So I don't, you know, Teddy was still in the, in the, in, in, his, in the prime of his career. So, you know, I don't know how much that would have benefited me if I would have signed. Were the Neptunes around at all? The Neptunes, nah, they were, at that point, they, they had already moved on too. Yeah. Yeah, at that point they moved on. Yeah, because I remember they did Rump Shaker and stuff yeah. like that, but that yeah, was Rump Shaker. Yeah, but once they yeah. did like Use My Heart for SWV, that's when they kind of just like their whole thing kind of started taking off. 